you know what a what a what a day what a tournament uh what a a great opportunity that you know the guys in that locker room took advantage of you know when we when we we got on the plane to come to DC we talked about winning one game at a time and there would be a big picture or be a prize at the end of it and you could tell our guys were getting a lot stronger every game that we played it's weird because you know we the t we're the team that played and we were the one who played every game but it seemed like every second half we got a little bit stronger than the other team um thank god for our opportunity believing in our faith um thank all of the families my wife is here who has supported me georgette and uh, the parents of all of our players and you know everybody that has poured into our program uh and it means a lot you know when you think about NC State, you know, the couple of things that really stand out to you is the 74 championship and the 83 championships. And if we can make any of those guys proud, and hopefully they are by what we did here in the ACC, that's a great thing. Um, for all of the players that came before us, um, they were so close to winning the championship. It's not just our championships, it's, it's everybody's championship. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm I'm proud, man. I just I'm emotional. I'm proud. I'm excited. Um, our players deserve this. You know, we've got a tight group, uh, a, a top uh, tight group uh, that sticks together with everything. And we've been through some adversity. We fought a little bit. We've argued a little bit. But at the end of the day, we found a way to come together for a common goal. And this this means a lot. You know, you know, we we never listen to anybody outside of our locker room because our locker room is the most important thing. And these guys will have memories for the rest of their life that they can always know that they they were ACC champions and won the tournament. So I know that's a long um, statement, um, but I felt like it was necessary. And I appreciate everybody that helped us get here. And obviously, one of the things we talked about is on the, on the bench. The coach said one of the coaches said, "Hey, you know, we got to try to can we score more." Cause we got to worry about the net. I was like, well, shit, I ain't worried about the net. We in the tournament. Don't worry about that. <laughs> and so um, I'm blessed. Um, we played a very good Carolina team. Hubert has done a really good job. Uh, every program that we played, I think, and somebody can fact check me. Uh, I think we beat five teams that have all won a national championship within it in the 2000s. That says a lot and they're historical programs. And so very grateful and um, just, I'm blessed and happy. Okay, we're going to open up for questions in the back in the corner. Shelby Swanson with the Daily Tar Heel. This is just a question for anybody, but how desperate were you all for this championship win? Uh, I'll start off. I, I think we were really desperate. Um, you kind of felt that energy with just like every timeout we had coming back to the huddle. Uh, everybody was locked in, you know, on their P's and Q's and everything. And that's what you need um, if you want to win, if you're going to win championships like this. So uh, um, I said it yesterday, you know, there's no better time to be playing your best basketball in March. And uh, I'm just glad that we, you know, figured it out now. Okay, in the back. And Ann. Hey, Coach. Josh Siegel, WMYU. Um, first off, congratulations. Um, sometimes when you see a double-digit seed make a run, they'll have gotten some help in other areas of the bracket, but that's not what happened here. You guys beat the top three seeds in this conference on three straight days. Um, what does having that experience and knowing you can beat the best, does that give you an extra level of confidence going into the tournament? It does. I mean, I mean, you think about it. We, we will look back one day, and it may even be tomorrow, and just – just be at all at the, the the teams that we beat. I mean, they they were they're great programs, great coaches um, who have done a really good job. I just think the difference where we were locked in. Uh, we we went through our conference and we saw every team. We played every team, and we felt like if we played our best game, we had an opportunity to beat everybody. Now I didn't know it was going to happen five days in a row, um, but we've done it. And you know, like I said, it all the credit. I, I, listen, these guys and the other guys in the locker room. They do all the heavy lifting. I'm, I'm just, I just try to orchestrate stuff, but to put them in the right spots. But they have done a great job, and this says a lot. I mean, you know, we've been, we've been getting crushed. When I say we, NC State, by not delivering any championship in 37 years, well, they can't say that now because we got one tonight. Four, four on the end. Adam Gacken with Orange Fizz for DJ Horn.
you missed the first game of this tournament. You were a game time decision for the second game. What was this week like for you emotionally, mentally, and, and just how great does this feel after all you've been through? Uh, yeah, um, I can't even really, you know, think straight right now, but to try to give you an answer, uh, you know, to not play the first game and uh, <clears throat> see my guys go out there and fight to the end, you know, to give me an opportunity to go out there and play the next day, uh, that meant everything. And, uh, and even sitting here now after, you know, we just won the whole thing, looking back at just that little moment right there uh, really shows me how connected we were because, you know, you, you lose your uh, Legion score on the team. That could be, you know, somewhat as a, a downer maybe. But, you know, next man up mentality, my guys came in and got the job done for me. Back on the end. Kalia Butler, Newhouse Sports Media. Um, Coach, you said for the last game that you had each player bring something lucky with them. Do you plan on doing that for the next tournament? It worked. And and, and now here's the crazy thing. I don't even know if they actually bought it. I told them before we got on the plane, I said, hey, bring something lucky, something special with you. But, you know, whatever, whatever we did this week, you got guys got to know I love D.C. I mean, it's my favorite place in the world right now. Uh, whatever whatever we did this week, we will try to do the same thing following it. Burns, did you have something? No? Okay. He, <laughs> loved, he loved D.C. too. That's what he wanted to say, okay. I think. Cool Second round in. Brett Friedlander, SaturdayRoad.com. For the players, um, there was a timeout. It wasn't the last TV timeout, but I think it was the one right before that. DJ, you were bent over trying to catch your breath. Uh, Casey was over there getting treatment for what I think was the cramp. How close did both of you guys, or all of you guys, come to emptying the tank here? I'll say um, my legs hurt right now. <laughs> it's been five days in a row. So, of course, um, guys are going to be a little tired. You, but... you know we got practice tomorrow, DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be ready by then. But, right. um, <laughs> yeah, we knew that it was going to be hard. We knew that nothing about this would be easy. So we knew that we just had to get over ourselves and push it to the very absolute limit, and that's what we did. I'm going to back in the end. Uh, Michael Shelton, ESPN 630 DC. Uh, DJ Horn, congratulations, uh, 29 points, 9 of 15 shooting, 9 of 11, three throws. But then you had the fourth foul with uh, 12 and a half to go. How were you able to compose yourself and walk that tight rope for so long and to help lead your team before you eventually fouled out? Um, I would just say give credit to my teammates and this guy right here, Coach Keats, man. Uh, like he said to be in the beginning, you know, we may bump heads sometimes, but, you know, at the end, it's all love. And uh, after we do something like this, you know, it's all love. So uh, um, my teammates did a good job on the court, you know, keeping my head in the game and everything, even though, you know, emotions can get, you know, running all crazy at times. But, uh, you know, that's what basketball is about, man. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I did foul out. But my guys, like I said, next man up mentality, stepped in and finished the job. Front on the end. Craig Heist from AP Radio. J, uh, DJ Horn first and then Burns. Same question. You win five games in five days. What does it take to be able to do that when it's something you normally don't see during, obviously, during the regular season? But what kind of, uh, you know, intestinal fortitude, I guess, does it take to do that? Uh, yeah, uh, I think, it, you know, it, you just got to have discipline, man. Uh, we came in uh, to this tournament knowing that our season was on the line, so there was no room for uh, mistakes. And uh, I think, you know, everybody really took heed to that and, you know, took it personally. And um, like I said, this is the most connected I've ever seen this basketball team. And uh, I just love that we get to uh, carry this over into March. Okay, this is our last question. Uh, Noah Trister from AP um, for coach and either of the players if they want. Um, we've seen an inordinate number, I think, of the top seeded teams lose in these conference tournaments all over the country. Um, did you guys take any inspiration from that? And I guess what do you kind of make of that chaos that we've that we've seen this week? You know, I, honestly, I, I got to be really honest with you. We just focus on NC State. Like we we literally, you know, Bob, my my nights were all watching tape. I uh, had no idea who was playing. Um, you know, we we try to we were trying to be the best version of ourselves, and and um, obviously preparing these guys the same thing. We did. I did the same exact thing every single day. I ate at the same um, place every single day. I we had to shoot around at the same high school every day. We did everything right, and um, you know, it just it says a lot about our guys to be able to focus in. Like, I don't think anybody really understands that we won five games in five days against some really good programs. Like, these are not 
I mean, these are great programs. I'll take a moment. I know that was the last question, but our league is really good. And we should have seven or eight teams in our league. And it's very unfortunate that, you know, when you, when you get down to it, that people are reporting that we, we may get four or five. That's just not right. Uh, what I would always say to anybody is take some of those teams that's in those other leagues and have to come to our venues and play, and they would understand how good it is. Um, we got good coaches. We got good players. Um, and so it's a really good situation. Back to us, uh, these guys focus. You know, it's been great. I mean, I just, you know, I'm, I'm at awe uh, every time I watch them. And I had a chance to become a fan this week and just watch the growth and how everybody got better and understood what was important and, and kind of, you know, putting the egos aside and kind of was more about, you know, what can I do to help my brother be successful? And at the end of the day, we all become successful. So it's a great, it's a, it's a great story. It'll be a great story for a long time. You know, I don't, I have no idea if anybody will ever win five games in a row to win a championship, but if they do, I'll be there to celebrate with them too also.